Hi folks, Dr. Bob McCauley. It's World Cancer Day. Insanity, craziness, or madness is a spectrum of behaviors characterized by certain abnormal mental or behavioral patterns. So today is World Cancer Day and you know, I guess it's the day we, we celebrate cancer or, well we shouldn't celebrate it, it's cancer, but it's World Cancer Day. And they got their own little ribbon, okay? It's red, this one, you gotta have the ribbon, folks. You gotta have the ribbon. So I tried to go to the World Cancer Day website, worldcancerday.org. Uh, I got off of that site. Boy, they like cookies on that site, you know, and I just, I don't trust those internet cookies, you know, because they'll get on there and they will take your information and just send it to who knows who. But, it's, you know, so World Cancer Day is an international awareness day led by the Union for International Cancer Control. I didn't, you knew about that. I didn't know the UICC. Um, it's to raise worldwide attention and inspire action for a cancer-free future. So it's a, we'll get we raise worldwide attention. Like we, we didn't know cancer was out there. I didn't know about it. You probably didn't know there was cancer. Uh, only well, like only half of the people get it in their lifetime. And um, and so Poppy didn't know about it. And you, you raise awareness. It's an awareness day. Like you weren't thinking you were just going to work and, you know, you're just kind of thinking about lunch or something or whatever. And then thought, oh, my gosh, I better be aware of cancer and go be aware of that. And maybe maybe don't go eat fast food for lunch. How's that sound? Don't eat, go to uh, Mickey D's or any of this garbage or shake and steak or whatever they call these places and eat that garbage and then get, you know, pollute your body and get things like cancer. So uh, I didn't know there was a World Cancer Day, but obviously there is. So otherwise, I might just happen to get on Twitter, and it's hashtag World Cancer Day. So world, yeah. Um, so I, you know, I wish I'd have known. I would have released my new book on how to cure the body naturally of cancer today. So uh, it's probably going to get be out in the next month. But here it is, the, the cure in the mirror. Because you're the cure. See, see, you are the cure in the mirror. You, your body. Um, you can raise all the awareness you want, and you can um, you can wear ribbons, and you can tell people to go get tested. Um, what you should be telling people is stop eating garbage. That should be the awareness. You know, stop stop putting fried foods into your body, processed foods, cook foods of any kind. Really, cook foods. Okay, fast foods. Anything that just pollutes the body, which is most things. I tell people all the time, you know, God God grew an apple, we made a frying pan. Well, you know, that's what belongs in the body, the things that God grew. But people don't want to listen to me, and then they end up with all these types of diseases, and then they ridicule me when I write books like the one I've just written now, The Cure in the Mirror. And this is a great book. So I spend 50% of this book. It's a 300-page book. It took me almost three years to write it. But... I, <clears throat> I spent half, about half of the book denouncing the medical establishment, telling you, you know, why you don't want to uh, trust the medical establishment when it comes to chronic or infectious disease. Okay, so when you get when you get injured in a car accident, that's when we want the medical establishment. So don't don't tell me because I don't believe in your pills and your therapies and your medications and all the other medical stuff you got going on there, all your vaccinations, all the, all the crap you got. I don't believe in that. So now you can't get any emergency services. We're going to leave you out on the highway to bleed to death when you get in an accident. Okay, we're going to come down to check your vaccine card. If you don't believe me, go ask Jimmy Kimmel. He'll tell you all about it. Okay? If you fall and you cut your head open, you will not be admitted to the emergency room. It's scare tactics. That's what they use. We settled this in the 50s. Get your kids vaccinated. vaccinated or lose my number. No soup for you. <laughs> so I spend half of the book, about 100 and 120 pages or so, just telling you why, uh, not ridiculing the medical establishment. They, they ridicule themselves pretty well if you really want to know the truth. Just look at the number of, you know, people that die every year at the hands of medical professionals. It's, you know, anywhere from uh, 250 to 400,000 people. 
Um, we had this um, virus going around. I can't remember how many did it kill. I don't think it killed 250 to 400,000 people in the United States alone. No, I don't think so. The first half of the book denounces the medical establishment and all its uh, its dubious practices. Okay, and then uh, the second half is a is a cancer protocol, telling you how to detoxify your body, how to kill everything in the digestive tract and wash the slate clean and put back the friendly bacteria and then start putting the right things into your body uh, so you can be incredibly healthy. That's what the second half of the book is about. It's called The Cure in the Mirror because you're the cure for all disease. You're the greatest. You look in any mirror, folks, and you're going to see the greatest physician on earth. So there's the cover. It's not quite finished yet. I'd love your comments. We're still working on this and uh, you know getting the cover right and everything and I'm still going through and doing the final edits on it I got a great uh, copy editor Uh, that's what I got coming out that's my next book it'll be in the next uh, month or so I hope to have that out by then and uh, again been working on it for many years but today you can go out and celebrate World Cancer Day at worldcancerday.org I wouldn't suggest you actually go to that website because it's just full of cookies and they're probably just going to sell your data to somebody but who knows i could be some that's the uicc that's the uh, union for international cancer control so how about that we're going to control cancer and uh inspire action for a cancer-free future well if you want a cancer-free future folks follow my health protocol and you will have a cancer-free future dr bob i'll see you guys next time insanity Craziness or madness is a spectrum of behaviors characterized by certain abnormal mental or behavioral patterns. Insanity may manifest as violations of societal norms, including a person becoming a danger to themselves or others, though not all such acts are considered insanity. Likewise, not all acts showing indifference towards societal norms are acts of insanity. In the medical profession the term is now avoided in favor of diagnoses of specific psychiatric diseases. The presence of delusions or hallucinations is broadly referred to as psychosis. No soup for you! <laughs>